Hola senoritas, uh, como es, oh, I'm just kidding, what is going on guys, Gabsito here, bringing you a League of Legends commentary, and today, I have probably my best needly ga gameplay, I can't even speak, it's uh, quite late, I'm recording this commentary, but fuck that, I'm just gonna go, um, it's probably one of my best needly commentary, or games I've played, uh, and I might hype this for you. I don't know. It might not be that good. We're gonna get the first blood here almost He's gonna flash However, this is probably one of my best new game plays um, And I might be a little bit hyped about it. I, I can't really remember how good it is, but uh, it Might be because it's so close uh, It's basically me versus Lee Sin this whole game. He's carrying their team. I'm carrying ours and he we're gonna get um a kill each here and I actually wanted him to dive me there so I could get that kill out I, uh, I could have survived it but I thought I could survive it but I didn't but I got the kill and I knew that was gonna happen uh, so it was a one for one that's pretty good I'm gonna roam top and I'm gonna pick up Shogath here which is such an amazing champion I've been playing Shogath a little bit and or a little bit I've been playing in basically every game and he's just so strong. He's so, so damn strong. So I'm thinking about making a, a Shogath guide or something like that. Uh, at least gonna, I'm, I'm at least gonna upload a Shogath commentary on this channel. <clears throat> so Needly, one of my, one of my uh, favorite champions, definitely. Uh, I feel like I can carry games pretty well with her because she's so great for roaming. Um, and that's a good way to carry games. You gotta be able to roam. I'm not saying I'm some uh, LCS master pro elite uh, Le League of Legends player, but um, I think if you want to carry games, you gotta help out other lanes in Rome. And I think that all lanes lost this game almost. I think Bot, as you can see, Bot is losing quite hard, uh, losing the turret after seven minutes or nine minutes. Yeah, nine minutes. <clears throat> and they're already losing turret, uh, but I'm gonna get the blue fiddle, which is really nice. Unfortunately, Lee Sin is gonna gank me and just wreck me, so that's that's stupid. But he's gonna camp me quite hard this game, uh, so that's that's a bit unfortunate. He's pretty good, as I said. It's basically me versus Lee Sin. Uh, we're gonna get the f uh, no, we're not gonna get the dragon. They're gonna get the dragon right there. But the reason why Cho'Gath, I was talking about earlier is so strong is that or m many reasons like I haven't lost the lane with Cho'Gath except I can remember one that I lost pretty hard and that was oddly versus Yorick who is said to be a counter to Cho'Gath but he got the first blood because I made a mistake and I, I just couldn't do anything from there he just poked me so much I do have lane sustain with my passive um, but it, it was impossible. I, I couldn't do anything. He was pretty good. <clears throat> but other than that, I don't lose lanes with Jogath. He's just so strong. Um, and people tend to underestimate his ultimate. Uh, they overstay with low HP. Because you want to poke people down. Uh, because you can do that. You can use your abilities a lot because you have your passive, which uh, gives you uh, a lot of um, mana and health. So you can sustain in lane. You can trade a lot, and for example, versus a champion like Gnar, Cho'Gath is fantastic, fantastic against Gnar, or Gnar, or whatever you want to call him. I don't know if that's a silent G or not, but uh, Gnar is uh, is a strong top laner, but against if I get Cho'Gath versus him, I win pretty much, pretty much, quite easily, because I can just poke him down. Uh, before level 6 sustain his poke and then when I hit level 6 if I hit my Q and he's got like 50% HP I, I could just flash in or I'd, I might not even have to use flash but I use my W and then ult or actually you should probably use your W, B, w before ult uh, against Nar because he has an escape uh, so you can silence that escape and I'm gonna get that was a bit stupid I shouldn't have KS that one uh, so Ash is gonna get a bit mad there uh, She's like, oh my fucking god, really? And I say sorry, but uh, you know, I shouldn't have taken that I, I got so, you know, I was in the heat of the moment and I just wanted that kill I just saw someone walk by and just My instinct was to throw a spear because I just 
that's that's how I play Nidalee. Like my spears are freaking on point. <clears throat> so Cho'Gath is yeah he's winning top it seems. So we're down even if I've got eight and three at this point. Do I have eight and three? Oh my god. Um, we're still down by three kills, which is so weird. I, I, they have like one kill. I have eight of our nine kills. So I'm gonna do a cheeky play here. I'm gonna flash in, and I'm gonna be able to heal. So wonderful and jump out. Such a nice, uh, little, little bit lucky, but still, I calculated that one quite well. <laughs> uh. Unfortunately, Ash is gonna get killed right there, but I'm gonna get Lee Sin, at least I think. Yep. But I'm gonna get killed as well. Yes, of course, Cyrus is gonna <clears throat> cover me down. So this game is actually quite hard. I get a little bit pissed because my team is they're not great. They're all losing their lanes. And I just I just try and roam as much as possible. But it's just, it's it's hard. And oops, I messed up my microphone there. And uh yeah, they're gonna get the dragon right there, and they've got a Teemo. That's that's a that's a weird support pick. This is a ranked game, but um, yeah, Teemo support. I guess it worked. He won the lane, and uh, I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna go greedy here. I do have my escapes. Uh, Lee Sin is gonna make a little flashy play here. Uh, we're gonna go for it. Or maybe it's not here. Uh, we're just gonna kill him. Actually, no. Nope. <laughs> can't really remember I'm gonna miss my spare there yeah I'm actually gonna make a little flashy play here uh, I'm gonna dodge those ults everyone is gonna dodge those ults because he could have killed any one of us uh, Lee Sin is gonna make the make the mistake to stay around a little bit because I've got vision on him thanks to my W and I'm gonna make that spear hurt his face um, <clears throat> So right now, I've got 11 kills out of 14. They st they're still ahead in kills. 14, 17, my teammates keep dying. And it is quite hard. I don't have any farm. That's one uh, one thing about this game. I, I don't farm this bad with Nidalee. Like, I've been roaming all the time. And I just haven't focused on farming that much. And Sarath is pretty hard to... Uh, even if I kind of won the lane, uh, he's pretty hard to farm against. Because he's got a lot... A lot of, uh, and Lee Sin uh, uh, ganked so much as well. But he's got a lot of poke and harass to k keep me out of lane. First, he's gonna do a beautiful hook there. Lee Sin is just gonna go ham to try to get this uh, Ash, but he's gonna fail miserably. And we're gonna be able to pick up two kills instead. My Ignite is gonna kill that Lee Sin. <clears throat> and I'm gonna get the kill on Shogath as well. Look at that jump! What the fuck was that? Did you see that? We're gonna skip ahead a little bit in the game. Yeah, at least it is gonna make this flashy play right here. He's gonna... Nope! Yes! He's gonna... Oh! He's gonna die. Okay, that wasn't it. We gotta wait for the flashy play. I don't I don't even remember if it was a flashy play. But, uh... Look at that hook. This Thresh is, is pretty good, this game. Uh, so that was a perfect timing because Dragon pops up here and we just got Lee Sin and the AD carry. <clears throat> so free dragon for us, uh, uncontested. Thresh is gonna do a nice hook again. A teleport is gonna come in and I'm gonna be able to pick up this Shogath. I think, no, it's not gonna be that way. This is, this is kinda weird. I, I don't know much about this game because it was a little bit, um, it was a while since I played it. But uh, we're gonna back off this fight right here. Uh, Cyan is gonna stay. So we're actually, I think we're gonna do a little bit of a mistake where we're gonna back. <clears throat> Lee Sin tries to reach someone. Sarath is gonna get those ults finally. He's missed them all, but now he hits them. Unfortunately, I can't heal because I don't have mana. Or else I could have uh, saved Thresh there from the flashing Satan trying to kill him. So he managed to get that kill. Uh, I could have gotten a double kill here. Check this. I jump in and Lee Sin line up for my E and I don't know, it didn't hit him. And I could have, if I killed Sareth with my E and my uh, it also hit Lee Sin, I could have finished off Lee Sin with my Q instead. Then heal and probably kill the other guy who was there. I think they're support or something like that. Maybe not. <clears throat> but we're going to have a little uh, bit of a... 
uh, feud here at uh, Blue, and I think this is where Lee Sin uh, does that. I, I don't even remember. It's not even a flashy play, but we're gonna have a little. Or actually, Thresh is gonna do a nice hook here. We're just gonna lantern me out of that, and I'm gonna. Uh, he's gonna jump over the wall, and that's basically it. <laughs> not a flashy play at all. I I just remembered wrong. Uh, but it was a nice. It was a nice little uh, lantern by Thresh, and uh, yeah, goodbye, Lee Sin to jump over that wall. Uh, nothing special, I just, uh, I, I fucked up guys, I fucked up. I don't remember. Uh, Ash is gonna fortunately not do the best ult because we can't really engage on it. I'm pretty low on uh, health and mana. But here, I'm gonna find an opening. I think, no, I'm gonna get killed instead. Fucking hell. And they're gonna be able to um, push even harder. And at this point of the game, it looks pretty bad. We're down with kills, they got inhibitor, uh, and we're like, shit, this freaking sucks, look at that ult, he's gonna get that ult, I'm gonna connect the spear to it, and we are gonna get another dragon, perfect timing for these uh, dragons to uh, come when um, the enemy team dies, every time. Uh, Lee Sin is gonna come, but he's gonna fail to steal that dragon, and... <clears throat> Oh, and he's gonna get that beautiful hook, but I'm unfortunately not gonna be able to get, uh, pick up that kill. Uh, I'm almost, I could have got in for Lee Sin, but I saw Cho'Gath and everyone coming for me, so I thought, let's run. Lee Sin gets the beautiful Q over the wall, kills us all. Four people down in our team right now. Ash is the only one up defending. Everyone wants to surrender. Okay, one guy wanted to surrender, but. I never surrender. It looks pretty bad at this point, but you know, I've got 18 kills. Come on, we can't, I can't res surrender that. It's impossible. I don't even surrender if I'm down with 18 kills or <laughs> down with 18 deaths. Uh, Lisa is gonna go horribly greedy for some reason. Uh, I don't know why I, s I um, fast forwarded that, but. Um, uh, so they're gonna be a little bit stupid here. They should have grouped. <clears throat> but they they keep going solo and throwing a bit even though they have the advantage they should just all push top while they have the mid inhibitor but Lee Sin is gonna get caught a few times which is unfortunate for them even though he's playing good he's kinda carrying them I bet he's just as pissed as I am <clears throat> that he um, well he I, just, I don't know Wh whose team is better who played the best I don't know if if I if Lee Sin had a better team, look at that Thresh. This uh, this is basically me and Thresh versus Lee Sin. This Thresh is pretty good. Ash is pretty good with her ults, but I mean, I can't say Fiddlesticks was too great. I don't know. He, he kind of died a little bit too much. Cyan lost his lane. Uh, I'm gonna get Timo right there, but unfortunately died to Sarah. So I'm gonna skip ahead of the game. They're gonna get a second inhibitor, or what seems to be a second inhibitor. <clears throat> And uh, but Thresh is gonna come in. This pro Thresh is gonna hook uh, Cho'Gath instead, and we're gonna be able to kill Zareth. This Thresh, man, he's pretty damn good. I don't think we would have. Look at that. He just keeps hitting his hooks all the time. He's fucking amazing. And I've got my Banshee's Veil right here because I got. I felt like I don't usually get Banshee's Veil on Needly, but I felt I need some hardcore defensive item. And since they have like Zareth and shit. You know, if I get caught in that stun or something, it's it's really unfortunate. So that's why it was definitely worth it. But we got the Baron, and I'm just like, fucking Kirk, man. Let me throw some spears before the fight. That That's what you always should let a needly do. People don't understand that. I hate when people just... If you have a team comp, like a Moo Moo Mal fight, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you have a needly in your team... Don't just go in ham. Okay, if you're leading with 30 kills and you're fed as hell, then maybe. But if you got a Nili in your team, before the fight, let her throw her spears. Because that's usually how you make them... You know, you want to make them run. You want to make them run away from you. Uh, you don't go in, uh, f you know, when uh, when you're f the enemy's facing you and tries to run to you. You, you go in when they're running. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of a failed team fight here, but thankfully, or 
can you even say thankfully? I don't even know if that's a word, but thankfully we are going to back. Uh, people usually tend to overstay, but uh, these guys uh, were good enough to go back to base. And Cyan is going to do a pretty nice ult, so we're going to get two kills to keep up the pressure here at mid. So it's really close at this point still. 44 kills against 42. I've got more than half of our kills. <clears throat> and it's 44 minutes into the game. Shows how close it is. Like, it's it's really close. <clears throat> and, I mean, Nidalee has a great damage late game. There's no doubt about it. But she really shines mid-game, I'd say. Uh, when she roams and she gets her spears and uh, just hunts people down. It's great for that. But in teamfight, when everyone is grouped, you can't just hit a spear and jump in at once, like immediately like that. You have to hit a spear on the AD carry, then have your team engage or something like that. But always let Anidalee throw her spears, it's the most important thing. I hate when people just go Rambo and then they say, oh my god, Needle is so useless. You know, you can't just jump in because you're gonna die instantly. You need to poke and you gotta get them running like this. This is perfect. You know, I can chase them down easily. I can just go in cooler form, uh, run to, through this brush, hit my spear, jump again, get some damage onto him, run through a brush again so I get some movement speed. He's just, he's just gonna stop and give up there because he knows that there's no point of running. <clears throat> So we're gonna get the mid inhibitor here. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little bit of flashy play uh, versus Estrel here. When he ults, I'm gonna just go in, kill him, and get a double kill for the ace. And push these damn nexus. Nope, gotta get one. And we're gonna push bot instead because I saw uh, the enemy team spawning. Don't wanna get too greedy. Don't wanna throw like this because if you die, Sometimes you tend to forget, like you overstay a little bit and then you forget that if you die at this point of the game, it's like 50 seconds in base and that can really hurt the game a lot. If I die here, it's it's over. Almost. <clears throat> but Ash does a nice ult. Doesn't matter if we hit Cho'Gath, we can just instantly melt him down, even if he's the tank. Doesn't matter. And we're gonna be able to end the game uh, right here fantastic even if they we were gonna surrender they had the game more kills than us inhibitor and everything we totally thought we, we were gonna lose or some people thought we were gonna lose but you gotta be positive and keep going and you will always win so thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe peace it's, it's the, do you understand english it's the heavy armor of the plane it's not hi, the hi. fucking heavy armor i speak english speak english yeah hi